Hello, Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today I have a hidden side set, and it's sort of an interesting one. It's different from the other ones. It's called Welcome to the Hidden Side. It has 189 pieces. The set number is 70427. And without further ado, let's check it out. So I thought I would take a look at the set before the minifigures, because this is sort of different. You see, it's when Jack goes into the Hidden Side world. So Lego does the little Hidden Side TV show. It's not really a TV show. It's more of like shorts, Hidden Side shorts, where basically they post a video on their YouTube channel and it's like three minutes, two minutes. They're really short and yeah. So basically Jack went into a subway and then came out into the hidden side. It was sort of like the subway was a gateway. And when he walked out, he was in the hidden side. So that's why you see the city subway and the Newberry Park. So he's in Newberry Park right now. And there, this is a tree, I'm pretty sure. But since it's in the hidden side, all the bark is dark and black. And then the leaves are a light blue or a light azure. It's really cool how they did this, and basically, inside this little subway tunnel, there's nothing in there, really, it's just a subway tunnel, but on the outside, it looks really cool with this face, now, it doesn't have any really hidden side features, other than you can possibly cover up the eyes, and then show them, they just use little, like, barb pieces here, for the eyebrows and stuff. You do have a skeleton body though right here, which is an interesting way to integrate that. You have a cool little lamp post design. I really like that. And it looks like hands are here or roots. Well, they would be the roots, but they're like hands. And when you lift those up, they reveal two little yellow tiles, which you can scan in the app and it will show a ghost. And you can articulate the little roots on or fingers whatever you want to call it for this tree just a little bit so you can you can like trap a figure under the hands and stuff yeah overall this is, looks really cool um it's definitely got an interesting shape here because it actually sort of connects to one of the other second wave hidden side sets which i'll show you later on in this video but from the back you just get a little bit of a different view. It's not the greatest view because everything is just sort of like flat here. There's no detailing there. There is this here, which I do have a little bit of a complaint with this. So this is the spinner that integrates with the app. I wish you could see it a little bit better. I could bring it up here. But this is the spinner that integrates with the app. There are two stickers here. And I'm kind of annoyed with this. You see, it seems like LEGO didn't try to integrate this into the set. Like in all the first wave sets, they always hid this in somewhere where you would spin it and it would change the colors and stuff. But this, it just seems like, oh, frick, we forgot to add a little spinner. Well, why don't we just plop it on the side and give it some design and make it look interesting or something. But really, it just doesn't hide the colors either. It's kind of annoying. In my opinion, I wish they would have tried a little bit harder to maybe integrate it somewhere in this tree. It would have made it so much better looking too, because then it's just off to the side and it looks kind of ugly and it definitely ruins the set. So you can always take this off and look, that looks a whole lot better without this little spinner on. And here it is up close, I guess. Yeah. So I wish they would have tried a little bit harder to integrate that. like inside the set like they usually do with the first wave sets even if it did show a little bit of color that was fine with me as long as they integrate it into the set but aside from that little rant that i had over there of this there is a little play feature here where if i were to turn this on the back you can see there's this little thing and if you lift that up something seems to fall which it's a spider and the other spider fell. Let me grab that real quick. Here's the other spider. So basically, it drops two spiders. So when I do it in the front view, it's not the greatest. Sometimes they get caught on the teeth and stuff. But here, let me try it one more time. There you go. You can see the spiders fall out and they can attack any ghost or the jack that comes in the set. 
There's also a bat that you can put up there too, if you want. You can also put the bat anywhere, or the spiders anywhere. You can put the bat up on the tree if you want. But they all just go in like the mouth area of this tree monster sort of thing. And yeah, they all just sort of fit in there. But speaking of characters that the spiders could fall on, I guess we can move on to the figures now. One last thing for this build, it does actually sort of integrate with the Newberry Subway, which is set number 70430, which I actually have right next to me here. So basically, here's the Newberry Subway in the back where it has sort of the same black and blue design here, which matches with the Welcome to the Hidden Side. And as I was explaining earlier, it does have a weird shape here. And so, if I were to get this at a good angle, basically you can put these together so that the subway sort of lead, leads into here. I'm trying to get a good view for you guys, but basically the subway can connect into that welcome to the hidden side. And yeah, it just shows that the gate here is the subway and then you transfer over to the welcome to the hidden side. So yeah, that's it for that. So for the first figure I want to talk about, it's this Jack figure. This is just Jack, but it's exclusive to this set because of the coloring. So what happens is when he goes into the hidden side, he changes into this bluish color because he's starting to turn into a ghost. So they did a little bit of, since this is usually a white with red stripes there, now it's a light aqua blue, I would say, with medium azure stripes, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the torso print is the same, just the coloring is slightly altered a bit. Same with the leg printing, it's usually like brown I'm pretty sure, but now it's like a dark blue. The phone print is still the same as always, and the face print, he has sort of a nervous look on his face. And then his alternate face is more determined look. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting face print, and that is also has a blue color to it. And then the hoodie hat combo, same thing with the blue, and then the little light aqua there. And overall, this is a really interesting figure to get, and it is exclusive to this set. So yeah, it's really cool. Now let's move on to the ghosts. So for the first ghost here, we have Axel Chops. That's sort of an interesting name. He does have the ghost sort of legs here, where it has the red and then the clear and it just sort of mixes together and gives it this ghost feel. The torso print, I'm pretty sure, came with that Lumberjack from uh, CMF series. And I think this is the Lumberjack from the CMF series when he, I guess, died apparently. He has an axe as an accessory. And he also has the little like Lumberjack beanie sort of piece. The face print is interesting because like it is a trans red color, but then the face print is printed on so that it doesn't give a, like, it's more solid. The printing is solid, but then the head is not, so it's definitely something else. And overall, this is a really good looking figure, and yeah, it looks pretty ghoulish. It's definitely different from the half ghoulified people, and yeah, it looks really good. So for the second, or... Second ghost, third figure here, we have Scrimper. So yeah, this is a ghost that has, again, that same piece as um, Axel Chops had, except for it's yellow and then the clear. The torso print is exclusive to this set, except for it is used with the other ghost figure. But even with this figure, it has the neon yellow or trans yellow head, and it has a cool little print there. But this is still an exclusive figure. It's different from the other one because the other one has a different face print, which I'll show you in a little bit. But overall, it looks pretty good. Front torso printing, good. Back torso printing, good. Face looks pretty good. Yeah, I have nothing else to say for this figure. So for the fourth and final figure, we have Waylon. He is the same as Scrimper except for the face print. As you can see, Scrimper, he has a more smiling face print, while Waylon has a frowning, angry face print. And so yeah, same torso print though, and same little leg piece here. But yeah, that's it for Waylon.
So for the packaging, we have this $20 box. Of course, this would be folded in. I just left it open when I opened the box. But yeah, you got the $20 box size here. Really cool artwork. There's Lady E, the main bad guy up there. There's the little play feature with the spiders jumping out. You got Scrimper and Waylon and Axle Chops and Jack. And it's really just a cool little... I love the inside box designs. They're really great. Shows the characters on top. And in the back, it gives you a little bit more detail of the set. Shows the little spiders jumping out. Shows the app. And it shows that you can now do like multiplayer. And yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, overall this is a really cool looking box. For the instructions, obviously it tells you how to build it. And then when you get near the end, it shows the set all built up. It has the hidden side app there. And then it actually has an ad for not only the first wave, but the second wave. And yeah, I've done quite a few reviews here of the first wave sets and some of the second waves. I'm working on them, but yeah, I'll eventually, I think I'll review all of these sets, first and second. So yeah, just keep a lookout for that. And then the piece count, pretty cool. And then the win. So that's really it for the instructions. So for my final verdict, I really like this set. It's a $20 set, which I think is a perfect price for this. Because you get quite a large build, even though it does use some big pieces like these little ugly rock pieces over here. But... I like that they sort of use bigger pieces because that means you're going to have a bigger build which makes it seem like it's worth the $20 and plus you do get four figures which is really nice especially all of them are exclusive in one way or another I especially like the jack version right there with all the blue coloring it's pretty cool and while there aren't many play features it's definitely a cool play set especially the little spider feature I like that yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. And you just get a lot of cool things. And I haven't played it with the app yet, but it seems like it would be cool. And yeah. Overall, this is a really great set. If you want to... I would rate this in... I would say a B plus, Or no, nah, I would say an A minus, actually. Because this little thing right here, I did not like that. I wish they would have integrated it somewhere into the set just somewhere so it's not standing onto the side of course if you want to you can remove it but then you can't like use it with the app so that can get annoying so yeah if they were integrated this into the set somewhere it would have definitely made this an a a plus because it's definitely good for pricing you got good figures it's a good build overall this is just a cool little set and yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'd like to hear your thoughts about this set in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.